Back in the 18th century, people still believed that all species are immutable, meaning they do not change over time. They supported this theory using the biblical myth of creation and couldn't be proven wrong as it was difficult to observe evolutionary change during a single human lifespan at the time. For the first time in 1809, someone proposed an evolutionary theory that included the concept of ever-changing species that adapt themselves to their environment. This man was Jean-Baptiste Lamarck. He believed that environmental influences resulted in changes in the behavior of individual species, resulting in adaptive changes. Lamarck proposed that body parts could develop or vanish, depending on whether they are used or not. These newly acquired adaptations could then even be genetically passed on to the individual's offspring. Let's take a look at an example of this theory. An individual giraffe cannot reach the leaves on a tree, but really wants to eat them. This desire to reach the leaves causes the giraffe to extend its neck. The giraffe's offspring also have this extended neck, so it is also implemented in their genes. However, there is one fundamental flaw with this theory. Acquired traits cannot be passed on to the next generation. For example, a bodybuilder that has worked out a lot in order to gain muscles doesn't produce children that are bodybuilders at birth. This problem was solved by a scientist called Charles Darwin. He observed many different species in nature during his travels on the research ship HMS Beagle. He proposed that biological diversity was a result of natural selection. Let's again use the example of the giraffes to explain this. Coincidentally, one giraffe in our generation of giraffes has a slightly longer neck than the others. It will survive during food shortages as it has advantages when trying to feed on the leaves further up. It therefore has enough food to reproduce. As a result of this increased reproduction fitness, in the next generation there will be more giraffes with this longer neck. Over many generations to come, long-necked giraffes will slowly prevail and form today's giraffe species. Wrapping up, let's compare the two theories one more time. Lamarck's theory states that species adapt actively to their environment according to their desires and needs. Darwin's theory states that species are adapted passively, driven by genetic variety that is determining their chances in the struggle for life.